Hey guys, it's your girl T and our favorite CNN news anchor is back on the blinds. Don Lemon, the man that everybody loves to hate because he can't seem to keep his foot out his damn mouth. So Don Lemon decided to go onto the Tom Jordan Morning Show and basically speak on the whole stop and frisk policy. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a small clip right now and I will come back with the rest of my commentary. Stop, question, and frisk is the biggest issue, the biggest issue in the country right now other than jobs and Obamacare. And the next New York City mayor, he may not know it, but so goes New York City, so goes the rest of the country. If he alters the equation of the formula that has reduced crime in New York City to its lowest in decades, one of which is stop, question, and frisk, and the crime rate creeps back up, beyond local citizens moving away to the suburbs, people will stop visiting, stop spending their tourist dollars, a big driver to the city's economy. The city will suffer international consequences. Cities and municipalities around the country will follow suit, looking at the Big Apple as an example of what to do or not to do. So whatever the mayor here decides will be reflected in your city. So you guys just heard everything that Don Lemon said, and after this interview came out, folks started going in on him on Twitter. And so his response was basically, you know, would you rather be politically correct or would you rather be safe? So then it started a whole nother trending topic, and these are some of the tweets that people were sending about Don Lemon. These tweets had me cracking up. So Don Lemon is now trying to come out today and saying that he didn't mean it like that, and that basically, you know, his words got taken out of context, even though he's the one who spoke the words. But what's even crazier is that the media has now found proof that Don Lemon is what he, what he claims that he hates the most, which is a hypocrite. Don Lemon himself is a hypocrite, because back in 2001, he sued a department store for $50,000 based on what? Racial profiling. He claims that he was stopped and he was racially profiled. They thought that he was stealing something out of a store and it came out that he wasn't stealing anything. So the same laws that you're basically trying to push on us regular, you know, everyday black folks telling us that we should just accept it is the same law that you use to file a suit against a department store for racially profiling you. Hmm. Now, isn't that kind of hypocritical, Don Lemon? You know, now, why I do agree with some of the things that Don Lemon says it's to the point now where I feel like Don Lemon is just basically trying to say whatever to appease the white media. You know, I'm just going to keep it 100. I feel like he's trying to, you know, say whatever so that way he makes white folks feel comfortable all the while throwing his own people under the bus. There's nothing okay about stopping and frisking. A lot of it is racial profiling, point blank, period. Just because you're a young black male does not mean that you're out here selling drugs, does not mean that you're out here carrying a gun. That's what they show in the news media. Of course, they're going to show more black folks getting arrested, more black folks out here with pistols. You know what I'm saying? But it's the ones that you don't suspect who are nine times out of ten holding the damn gun. You know, so it's crazy. I don't believe in racial profiling. I don't think it's okay for him to co-sign with that. It's insane. So I guess Don Lemon is just a complicated man and nobody understands it but is a man. Because I don't understand Don Lemon. I don't understand him at all. I'm going to need him to have several seats. He needs to stop making stupid comments because he's just going to continue to get drug on Twitter. But it seems to me like Don Lemon likes that. He likes getting drug on Twitter. You know, it's almost like he's a male version of Lolo Jones. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on the entire situation. All right. Deuces.